Hello, Vivian Fox here again. Uh, just trying to finish off the things I missed in my intro. I forgot to mention I am a British furry. I live in the southwest part of England. And yes, I do love tea. I am obsessed with tea. Definitely. Um, the weather as well. We are in a heat wave, so this, yeah, not a good time to start the whole fursuit channel. Now I have two other furs to introduce you to, and I must apologise, I don't currently have sleeves for a partial or a tail, but I will be making those. But without further ado, I shall introduce you to the rest of Vivian, and show you why I'm arguing with that zip. <laughs> So, if you can still hear me, this is Vivian's full suit, complete with leather waistcoat. I know we all love animals, but leather is something I just, it's convenient, it's waterproof, it's just such a good material. However, the pads in my paws, oh by the way these are my black paws that I made based off the um, red paws from China. These are fox leather, super easy to get hold of, super easy to work with. And yes, as I said before, I made my entire suit, hence why I'm arguing with this zipper. So as I said before, I had a zip down the front and then this folded over with Velcro. I then changed that, very emotionally cut Vivian in half, then installed a zipper in there, then had a fold that went over. And now I've changed it again, sewn that back up, I need to brush it so it like hides all that. And I'm trying to put a zipper that goes down the middle and just hides in the fur. However, I got a zipper far too short, so it's like trying to put on a wetsuit in the back of a small car when the wetsuit's too small. So yeah, I'm going to get a new zipper soon and dismantle this one. I'm going to ruin everything now. And, oh hello, sorry, my camera was cut out, but I'm going to ruin the magic, take these off and show you this ghastly little zipper. Yes, it is going down. Through there, and that's as far as it gets, so that's not long enough get me in there. So it needs to come down to at least say here and that's my sewing is very much trial and error, try again, do something different. And I made my own fursuit paws or feet paws. Now I cheated because I've got a pair of old shoes and hot glued the fur onto them sewed the toes onto the black fur to get the shape and have some sponge in there to give toe definition. Now what I really want to do is paint the bottoms of these with the toe beans so they'll be fabulous like that. Right. So yes, apologies for whatever happened in the middle of the video there. The camera stopped working and I tried to look at it and then you yeah, just get a whole face full of my nose. So yeah, I hope this sums up. I'm a British furry, I made my own suit. Just, oh, there it goes again. <laughs> it's freezing at me. As I was about to say, just because you live somewhere that oh, there aren't many furries, or you don't have a lot of money, doesn't matter. And I will explain how I made Vivian over time, over time of how I did it and over time of many different videos, and try to um, try to give tips and pointers on how to make a cheap, affordable, but still semi-professional looking suit. I say semi-professional, I think it's bad at times and other times I'm really proud of it. So it's all down to yourself. Now, um, I am 
a sufferer from asper, just which is a mental autism, if you will. So just putting it out there. For those of us with mental health issues, we don't need to shy away from it. We can be quite upfront and open about it. And it just basically means I struggle to interact socially. Um, I'm higher functioning, which means it affects me less than perhaps others who have lower functioning. But yeah, I am a sufferer from a mental health illness. And yeah, yeah I came out as a mental job. <laughs> Don't quote me on that, I'm not trying to insult people with mental health by calling them mental jobs. That's just my own opinion of myself, I'm saying that about me. <laughs>